Hello my lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa or Missa, welcome. Today, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're playing with the Made by Mitchell colour case. This is the electric, I think it's called electric, so it's the bright fun coloured one. I'll do some swatches for you, don't worry. Yeah, it's, uh, I just saw like an advert of him advertising these basically on TikTok and he was saying, he was talking about the neutral one and how it was like the coverage and kind of feeling of a concealer but sets down matte so it's just like I thought it was like face paints when I first saw these and I thought they were really stupid I was like why is Made by Mitchell releasing face paints but it's more like the P. Louise coloured bases like the Mitchell ones like the ones mm, I'll show you it's like this kind of consistency but in pans and the way it's like put in here you could make any colour you wanted by mixing them and stuff so I'm gonna use it all over my face today like why am I at focus? Like we're gonna do it on the eyes, the waterline, the cheeks, the lips, this is not actually one of the one of the shades but I do it at the end I just wasn't a fan of it so I changed it to do my intro. Yeah we're gonna use it all over the face. I really want the neutral one so I could do like a full base with it and see how that works but I've got the colour phone, it was a Christmas present from Emily and I was so excited to have it but yeah. Let's do some swatches just so you can see it in all its glory and then we will move on to like actually playing with it. Um, where did I put? I don't know where I put, it came with like a spatula. Yeah it did come with like a spatula brush, is that it? Oh yeah. That's it there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swatch it for you just here so you can see it. I mean, it's really fun. So it's the white one. Then we've got, this is probably my favorite color. I'll like smear them out. We've got the white. Oh. Then this like chartreuse, which is like just a made by Mitchell color at this point. We've got an orange and then like a mint. It's got a bit of orange in it, sorry. I don't want to waste too much by like swatching, but sorry, that definitely has some orange in it. That's my bad. Then we've got pink and a deep green. They just feel like lovely kind of thick creams just to like swatch them. It's actually so many shades I maybe should have done my swatches a bit smaller and then like a lavender so it's like the peach how gorgeous would that be as a blush this like lavender oh I've got it all up under my nail oh bright pink and a navy blue oh yeah yeah my swatches are just an absolute nightmare, aren't they? But we'll just deal with it. And then we've got a fuchsia. And then, like, another really fun, like, bold green colour. So, yeah, that is the swatches. Uh, if you mix them all together, it looks like a grey brown, if you're wondering. I did that before once. But yeah, that is what all of the swatches look like. Oh. No, I'm making the case really messy. What do we think of that? I think this second green, it's like a chartreuse. That's more like a lime. They're two of my favourites. I love this mint, the white. This peach is going to be beautiful as a blush, that pink. I also, I love all the shades bar this deep green in the middle. I don't like that at all, but I can see why it's in here. I think, like, if there was a black in there, it would have been, like, an ideal perfect palette. But I think there's a black or at least a very, very deep brown in the neutral one. So you could always mix like a bit of like black gel liner in if you wanted to deepen it up. But yeah, the point is you can mix these colours together, make whatever you want and just let your creativity go bananas, I suppose. But yeah, it's a really fun concept. They are £35 each or £25 on TikTok and even on his website. The neutral one is currently out of stock. I keep trying to see if it's going to come back in stock. If I see it anywhere, I will buy it so I can test that on my face as well. A wee bit stainy, actually. Er, no. I don't want my face to be stained. I tried to keep my hair down today, it just looks a bloody mess. Anyway, let's try putting it all over my face and then I will give you my thoughts on this kind of weird but fun product. 
the end of the video. I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. I don't think I've ever looked better than I do right this second. Wow. Obviously we're gonna start off with the color case and I'm gonna go in with eyeshadows on top of it because I feel like this is more like a base. It's just like the P. Louise paints and stuff but in like a pan form I feel. Uh, so obviously it's what it looks like and this didn't take me very long at all. I'm taking the shade 2 Blue. I actually didn't realize they had shade names but they do and I'm gonna whack this on my outer corner. I am primed with the P. Louise paint so I feel like it kind of dilutes these as I blend them out but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Sorry sausage is on my desk causing a commotion. So I'm just putting that on and then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. Well it was clean when I did the other eye and just blend this into my base. I have to say they are so easy to blend. I'm actually quite shocked. I never really work with like cream eyeshadows and I never use the P. Louise like coloured bases unless it's for like a cut crease or something. I'm quite enjoying using these actually. And then I'm going to take another fluffy brush and the shade Fuchsia. This one up here is gorgeous. And blend it into this blue. I'm taking like such a little amount because they are really pigmented. Don't eat my brushes. Honestly, until two seconds ago, he was sleeping on his new cat tree, making no commotion. And now here he is causing commotion. Yeah, they're really pigmented, so I am like dipping in very gently and trying not to put too much on. And I couldn't believe how easy it was to blend these together. Like when I was just sitting, like if I go back in, Bit more of that blue. See, it's so pigmented, I shouldn't have dug in that much. Wow. Like, if you did just want to use these on their own, I bet you could. I'm definitely going to set it just because I am going out and about. Like, I've got to go and do a few things. But I bet you could leave it completely unset. Just round. Obviously, we're doing the sunset eye because why not? And then I took Hushed, this lighter pink. There's a darker one, but I wanted this one. Put that on. I can't wait to use these as like blush and stuff and see what that looks like. I'm kind of trying to get the eye out of the way but obviously I had to use them on the eye. I've always thought as long as you've got really pigmented eyeshadows what's the point of coloured bases to be honest so I'm probably not like the target audience for this, but I'm really enjoying playing with it for eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take Sunny Side, which is this like orangey one. I think it goes on the skin very yellow as opposed to orangey, but, but it does what it needs to do. Taking that pretty much all the way in. And then right, do I look really yellow today? Really orange on camera? I don't know. I've tried to fix it, I've put all my like lights on, usually I just film my ring light these days because I'm too lazy to get up and put my other lights on, I'm just going to add a bit more of that pink. So I'm actually flabbergasted by how easy these all blend, like that doesn't look half bad just on its own, do you know what I mean, if you just like go back in and re-intensify each shade. I don't think it's half bad, just without any eyeshadow. You know what I mean? Right, so that's, we're going to come back to this for the eyes as well, but what I'm going to do is really quickly throw on all my eyeshadows. I will show you what I'm using. I'm actually using my Mitchell, is it Head in the Clouds? Head in the Clouds. It was in my declutter pile, and then I thought I might as well use it, just because I'm going to be using a lot of Mitchell today, so I took it out of my declutter pile. I'm not keeping it, but I'm just using it maybe this, like, one last time, just to to use it with the Mitchell. So I'll do this quickly and then we'll come back and keep playing with it when when it's necessary. But I don't want this video to be too too long plus I'm really scared of my editing software that I got so bear with. Thank you. 
I can't get over how easy it is to blend eyeshadow on top of these. I feel like it really does help. I'm going to go in with the white one, which is called Ruffles. Wow, this one is really pigmented. I put on way too much on the other side. I didn't realise how pigmented it was. I'm watching Yellowstone for the first time and kind of enjoying it. I'm on episode three. I'll put a good blob on the inner corner because I love a matte white inner corner. I just think they're, ow, ripped my eye open with my nail. And then I'm just going to take a sparkly shadow from the palette. Sausage. Yeah, I was really shocked by how easy my eyeshadows went on top of this. So I'm excited to see like it as a blush and then like maybe layer it on top. I'm going to take a bit of my, I think it's Take Two Cosmetics. I'll get Emily to remind me. It's from TikTok, these eyeshadows. And this is like a clear hollow sparkle. So this is just what I used to amp this up a bit. I'm going to go back in with that original blue that we used just on a liner brush. These are going to be beautiful for all kinds of liner colours that you want. I'm actually going to cover mine with a bit of shadow but look how easy it is to just throw that on as a eyeliner. I need to remember to use this on the waterline as well. It just paints over everything so nice. Like, I've got quite a lot of texture on my lid now with all that sparkle and everything and this is just going over it. No problems whatsoever. I honestly thought these colour cases were just a little bit stupid when I first saw them. I was like, face paints? Is that what Mitchell's doing now? Like, a case of face paint and... Uh, Just seeing so much more like possibilities with them. I am just gonna cover that with that darkest eyeshadow. I'm sure I've done a tutorial on this palette before by the way if you're thinking oh I like the look of that palette. Glorious. Right let's put some in the waterline just while we're here because I will forget if I don't do it now. What shade? Let's use, I'm tempted, I like this fuchsia colour, I think it's just beautiful. Oh, come on. I really need to, I really want to get the neutral one. I keep checking to see if it's in stock and it's not. I want to do that and use it as my whole base and see if I can. This isn't even making my eyes water. It's not so like liquidy that it's going into my eye. That's what I was a bit like nervous about. But even like putting it on, oh, I'm touching my eyeball with it. It's not making my eyes water. I'm gonna go throw foundation concealer on and then we'll come back and keep playing with this palette. But honestly for the eyes, really happy with it and I'm happy with how my shadows went over the top. Literally no issues with it at all, so let me come back in a second and we will continue. I'm really excited to use it for blush. While we're here and playing with Mitchell, I'm just gonna use Tickled Taupe as my liquid bronzer because we might as well just use pretty much all Mitchell products, right? I actually very rarely reach for my blurshed like bronze shades. Probably just because it's like winter and in winter I don't use my cream products as much. But I mean they're fantastic. Look how this is just blending. Honestly my hair. <laughs> this is why I want the neutral one because I think I could use that for blush. Uh, for bronzer, contour, foundation, concealer. Like I think I could do a whole face with it and I'd like to see like how it feels on the skin. What shade do I have for contour? Hollow there. I'll be honest, I completely forgot how good the bronzer and the contour and stuff blend together for Mitchell. Like, they are so, so, so good. I need to use them more. But again, I'll use them more in summertime. Just winter's not my, like, creamy journey. Ugh. Right, let's move on to this for blush. I'm actually going to take my, like, Real Techniques 
brush and dip into this orange first because I think I'm gonna do like quite a blush heavy look so I'm gonna like extend that yellow for my eyeshadow out a bit I'm dipping into these very lightly because I am again just a bit worried about like overtaking everything and then I can extend my eyeshadow out into that Put a bit down here and then I think I'm gonna dip into that pink or no let's stick dip dick <laughs> let's dick into the peach coral moral moral I swear names of things just get weirder okay I've dipped into that quite a lot hold on maybe this is just a bit yeah there we go that was just a bit more of like a stubborn shade to pick up but now it's picking up can you see that and it's not lifting my base like I'm trying to stamp it as much as possible but it's not lifting my base underneath which is quite good well it's very good obviously I don't want that taking that like right up underneath my eyes because I'm gonna definitely blend my eyeshadow down into it I just want to have like a really blush heavy look like we might as well and then I'll take I don't want to take that I think it's gonna be too dark so I'll take this pink one again that we used on the eye I'm just using it in the same brush because it doesn't really matter both boys appear to have settled onto their perch. I love my cats so much but they do tend to like need me and want my attention most when I'm like sitting down to film and I'm like read the room boys. <laughs> Come up. <laughs> and I'll put a wee bit of that over the schnoz. I need to redo some of my freckles there because they're disappearing. That's a lot. Don't worry. I'm freaking out personally. I don't know about you guys sitting watching this at home. <laughs> I'm gonna take my foundation brush. I love the like pink over the nose and like blend it in. I think it's so pretty. Okay, I think we can get away with that. I'm gonna quickly set my face with powder and then we'll probably just use this eyeshadow palette as my blushes as well we've still got this for like under eyes and lips but yeah I'm just gonna quickly set with powder and then we'll continue I actually grabbed my Beauty Bay pastels palette to put my powder blush on I know it just better shades than in the Mitchell plus I needed more of a pink that's only got like a light purple in it I'm just gonna throw on some more fake, fake freckles and then we can do a little bit of lip. I think I'll just do powder under eyes just for speed but yeah definitely a nice base for blush I've got to say. I feel like the lipstick of choice should be this one and maybe a bit lighten it up in the middle I don't know because it'll go with that eye so what's it called fuchsia. I put on a bit of brown lip liner just to give me some definition and I've left my lips covered in foundation it's because sometimes I like doing that, sometimes I don't. These really do feel like such multi-use, like creams. Obviously that was the intention, but I was so sceptical. But I will say if you go out and about and this is your lipstick, how are you going to top it up? Because <laughs> you're not going to take this with you. That is a fuchsia shade. I might take a bit of that pink one, just in the centre. It feels totally fine. I feel like I need a darker pink blush, but I'm going to address that in a second. I've just had an idea to take my blush lights in the shade Candy Trip, which is like a baby shiny pink, and kind of put that on almost like a gloss. This is like frosty 2000 Barbie lip. <laughs> wow. I feel like almost quite 70s with this. This top is not right with this. It's actually really pretty. I find this in my declutter bag. It's like a Zara bodysuit, but it's not right with this. Can we take a moment to appreciate this uh, beauty crop highlighter? 
what is going on? Oh. It's a bit dark on my bare skin, but still. Oh, right, there we go then. I've tested this palette all over my face, eyes, lips, cheeks, that's what I meant to say, eyes, face, lips and I think it's great I do think it's great I see the merit in this palette I think like what I'm actually going to use it for most days is going to be liner water liner maybe lips I don't know this is obviously a bit of a like it's a very Barbie pink combination I'm not sure how I feel about it but it's like the only one I could do really like I wasn't gonna do like a peach or a blue or you know what I mean also as like blush like this peach shade what's it called yeah the coral one that's going to be gorgeous as a blush when I'm doing like a nice different look to this you know what I mean like there's so many options with this and I'm really excited for the neutral one to come back into stock because I can imagine you could use that for brows like a black smoky eye brown smoky eye you could use it as like base concealer faux freckles contour bronze do you know what I mean so I'm keeping my eyes peeled for that coming back in stock so I can do a video testing that so let me know if you want to see that but yeah overall I'm very very impressed for £25 you're getting so much product I feel like you're not gonna hit pan on this in a really long time and these colors are just so stunning for imagine that as a liner color like that is nice I really want to put that on my inner corner now mm. like come on Wow, I just feel like there's so many options with this palette. I'm definitely going to change this lip, by the way, before I take photos because I'm not loving it. But yeah, for like liner and stuff like that, I think this palette is going to be stunning. Or as, like, if you like the P. Louise bases for the colours, you could use this. And you can make any colour you want, like, with all of these colours, pretty much. Anyway, I'm really impressed with it and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. It was a Christmas present, like I said, but... Yeah, I'm very happy with it and I would recommend it if you like bright, colourful, fun makeup or just like a pop of colour with liner and stuff. I think it's great and £25 is not too, too bad, I think, for all of these shades. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this. I am so nervous we're going to edit this video because I have new editing software and I'm terrified of it. I'm a banana with technology. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's going to be all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please take a bit a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Are you going to get this? Have you already got it? What are you thinking? And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to piss off and edit this, basically. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye.